The Mercedes-Benz Charging Hub project has been making steady progress. The uh, most significant event recently, though, is the Mercedes-Benz USA website has been updated, and they've announced their charted course and made it public. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but they say 400 hubs by 2027. If you do the math on that, that's about two per week. 133 per year, two per week. They also say in the um, announcement on the uh, website that they'll do uh, 2,500 um, stalls. And if you do the math on that, that's about six stalls per hub, uh, 6.25 specifically. And that lines up with what we've been seeing. Each uh, Bucky's has been getting three dual handle dispensers, two stalls per dispenser, uh, paired with two 200 kilowatt power bricks. So a total of 400 kilowatts being dispensed if only one car is there. Excuse me. Or um, 200 kilowatts if uh, two cars are using one dispenser. And there's also the ability to do similar to the Tesla superchargers where you can site load between all six bricks. So if there's two cars on one dispenser, <clears throat> you could do um, 400 per car and uh, have it loaded across the entire site, similar to a Tesla supercharger. The uh, uh, initial phase that was not enabled, but I understood that was going to be made available later. So the hardware is uh, ChargePoint Express Plus um, with a two uh, 200 kilowatt uh, power bricks per dispenser. If you're a Mercedes-Benz owner, you could reserve stalls en route to ensure you don't have to wait, as was recently in the news about the bad weather charging in the city of Chicago and people having to queue up. Uh, for these, if you're a Mercedes-Benz owner, you can queue up. And also, ChargePoint does not commonly, at least as far as I know, ever done plug and charge, but uh, they figured it out for Mercedes. Um, so, if you're Mercedes, you're special, you can do plug and charge at these locations, which I find to be very convenient. I pull into a EVgo station. My Both my EVs are registered for uh, the um, Auto Charge Plus with EVgo, and you just plug in, then you go back into your car and sit down, and you're all set. The uh, site partners are Bucky's. There's 34 in Texas, 13 outside of Texas. And of the 34 in Texas, many of them are smaller, so they're not the big convenience stores. So... I'm looking at the 13 out outside of Texas, plus I know of two additional ones that have been permitted and are coming on heavy corridors. One is on Interstate 40 in between Raleigh-Durham, North Carolina, and Greensboro, North Carolina. That one was recently approved, and uh, conceivably Mercedes-Benz Charging Hub is going to go there. And also in um, Interstate 95 in eastern Georgia, in Brunswick, Georgia, there's an additional Bucky's that just got announced and permitted, uh, which will be under construction here soon, and assumingly that will also, so that would bring the total to 15 outside of Texas um, that conceivably could be uh, receiving these. And there is one in Texas, but I don't think they're going to build all 34. Um, there was a PR Newswire press release indicating 30 locations, and I really question that because they would have to do the 15 outside of Texas, the 13 existing plus two more, and an additional 15 in Texas. So that just doesn't seem right to me, but I don't know. Time will tell. The other one is uh, Simon Malls, and uh, there's indication in the press release that they will be open. Uh, there will be locations open in the first half of 2024. So in order, with construction timelines being what they are, there must be locations out there that are already permitted and either under construction or soon to be under construction. The third location mentioned in this press release is select dealerships. So that's new. Uh, select dealerships means that certain Mercedes-Benz dealerships will be getting these charging hubs, and assumedly one of those lounges also, because um, on the Mercedes-Benz property with the headquarters, they put in a lounge. So I'm guessing if there's not a retail partner where the charging hub is located, they'll put in a lounge. And I think I remember hearing from Mercedes-Benz spokespeople that that would be the case. So we could look forward to that. Currently open from north to south. These are the ones that are native Mercedes-Benz. There's only one. It does have a canopy. I did a site visit video, which I'll link down below in the description. Open north to south, Bucky's locations, uh, and the dealership locations I'll add to this uh, table up here. These are uh, Bucky's locations from north to south. Um, I don't have any pricing for Daytona Beach, but if you look at the pricing here, this is very reasonable pricing. So Kudos to Mercedes-Benz. I did a site visit video of the Florence, South Carolina location, which I'll link down below in the description.
Under construction, there's been, as I mentioned at the uh, beginning of this video, very steady progress. Um, and uh, at most of the locations outside of uh, Texas, uh, we have construction spotted. Uh, there's a few like in Missouri and um, uh, let's see, near Surville, um, North Carolina, also, we suspect there's construction, just no one's uh, been there in order to spot it. Here's the uh, uh, iconic canopy locations in Sandy Springs, Georgia. Uh, that was all over the news when it initially opened, and the hub is over here. The power bricks are in this uh, con contained area, fenced off area. And um, the very iconic, uh, there's three stalls plus two more, and this one is only one stall per uh, dispenser, and this is the ADA stall, the Americans with Disability Act, and then there's a pull-through stall on the other side uh, that's also single-threaded, but those two dispensers share two power bricks back over here, so each one can dispense 400 if, if uh, the other one is not um, in use. Florence, South Carolina did a site visit video. You can see these six power bricks back behind the uh, fence, Interstate 95 right behind it, so a great location. Royce City, Texas, right off Interstate 30. Uh, again, six power bricks, three dispensers, six stalls. One of the stalls is got a little bit of additional room for nose in for the East Sprinter van. And if you look right here, you can see what I'm talking about. They just move the curb back a little. I guess the East Sprinter has a um, location for the charge port door uh, located a little bit more um, on the inside of the quarter panel, which is the same with my Cadillac Lyric. So it's not the only one that that's advantageous for. So I definitely appreciate them making accommodations for EVs that have charge port doors in different locations. Uh, Daytona Beach, Florida, open, ready for use on the Interstate 95 corridor. This is Leeds, Alabama, in between Atlanta and Birmingham. And if you look at these dispensers, although it's saying under construction, these are energized. You can see the screens lit, and this is just about ready to go. Here's the one pull in for the uh, East Brenner van. This is just about ready to go. So this is gonna go just about any time, I would imagine. Athens, Alabama has been spotted under construction. We've got the uh, plumbing work for the um, power bricks over here on, and as I mentioned, the weather is stifling progress in this location. Robertsdale, Alabama, no problem with weather here. We're on the Gulf Coast, so it's nice and toasty warm. We've got a 1000 KVA transformer. We've got some pipe work that's still waiting to be utilized. I'm not quite sure what this is for, maybe switch gear. And dispensers in the ground. Um, meter in place, all ready to go. Crossville, Tennessee, these pictures were just obtained today. Uh, 1000 KVA transformer. Uh, we've got the power bricks already all fenced off. Dispensers in the ground. You can see right here the one pull through for the East Sprinter. This one is gonna open up very quickly. And here's an additional picture of the power bricks um, in Crossville, Tennessee. This is uh, in between Knoxville, Tennessee and Nashville, Tennessee on Interstate 40. Thanks for watching.